I was playing about with these uh, three one watt LED lights. They're, they're rated three watts and they've got three one watt uh, chips in them. And I had them connect a power meter and in the case of the blue one, it is coming up at 2.8 watts, which is close to three. Um, I'll take that one out and I'll stick another one in. Uh, not sure what colour this one is. It's the red one. Now, interesting, the red one comes up as 1.9 watts. And I'm guessing that's because the um, forward voltage of the red LEDs tends to be much lower than the green or the blue LEDs. Um, and if it's just running as a fixed current limited supply of about 350 milliamps through the three LEDs, then of course the red LED light is going to have a much lower wattage. In case the green one, it's 2.6 watts, it's showing. And that leaves the yellow one, which is gallium nitride based in this instance. It's the one with phosphors that I covered in a different video. Um, and it comes up with a forward voltage of Two point, uh, a wattage of 2.8 volts. And the really intriguing thing about this is that the wattage that's coming up, because it's um, three one watt LEDs um, and it's on this, a fixed current supply, the wattage effectively is equaling the forward voltage across each LED. So in the case of the gallium nitride LEDs, it is around about 2.8 to 3 volts across them um, at full current. But in the case of the red, it is going to be closer to 1.9 to 2 volts, and that's how it was mirrored in the wattage. So that was just a, a neat, interesting little thing I noticed.